I mean, it was the hardest thing I've ever been through in my life. Tragically and suddenly losing one of my close friends from back home in Colorado. Six months later, we had our teammate, uh, John Chambers, die by suicide. We found him. Um, I thought, like I knew what pain felt like, but to be there and to be so close to it was a whole different experience. Everything from, from both instances kind of came up at once. It was bad. I would wake up sweating, um, screaming, and there were a ton of nights like this where I just couldn't get out of my head. During the time, you could just tell, like, there was something that was taken away from him, you know? I would say he started to distance himself a lot from, you know, from us. You know, he just kind of started to do his own thing. Obviously, like, a little bit of depression kind of came in where things just weren't... It was almost just like a, a filter had kind of set over everything. You know, what, what was gonna, what, how these events were gonna affect Nathan going forward, and is, was he ever gonna be the same guy that I met when I first came in? But once my mom said something, she just said, you know, I've never seen you like this. Like, maybe you should go talk to somebody. And honestly, like, talking to that person um, really, turn things around for me. At least in that space, I could be like open about how I was feeling. It was really the first step in like my recovery process. Um, it was the first time I'd really actively dealt with the things that had happened. I became really passionate about helping other people either get to that point or at least get to the point where they're comfortable talking about their mental health. You know, it's tough as an athlete there's this idea of masculinity. You don't want to look weak or you don't want to look vulnerable. And so I think before all this happened, I had this idea of what masculinity was to me. Uh, I mean, after all this happened, I, I had to redefine what I thought of as masculine. I've found that I can make a difference with my story. And I've found that being vulnerable is not a weakness, that it's a strength because Nathan is a different personality, he's a different character, and he adds something different to our, to our group of friendship. So when he was back, it felt like we were whole again, you know, like the, pie, the, the other piece of the puzzle was, was back in. In my life right now where I am, I've never been better. Um, and it's all because I, I dealt with my mental health. I, I, I hope Damn Worth It can be to the community of Oregon State. Uh, the community, even bigger than that, uh, across the country can be what it was to me. Uh, Damn Worth It was basically a signal of hope. It was something that got me through a lot of the hard times because I knew that we were creating a sense of community that cared about mental health, that wanted to talk about mental health, and that was committed to dealing with it.